What's up, everybody? I'm about to embark on what I'm personally calling the world's fastest design sprint. Now, what is a design sprint? Honestly, that's not really what I'm doing. A design sprint is something where you get a group of people to come together from a period of like three to five days in order to prototype, design, and test a given app idea. And what I'm doing is kind of that. It's only myself and it's within 10 minutes. And so I think this is a fun example or a fun exercise that some of you can put yourself in. So the way it works is I'm going to choose a random number between one, zero and 112 because there's a list of 112 app ideas. And then I'm going to control F that number with the list of app ideas. And then right when I read, after I, right after I read whatever the app idea is, I'm going to hit start on this countdown. It'll show up in the upper right hand corner of the screen and it's a 10 minute countdown. So I'm gonna be in Adobe XD, you can use Figma, whatever else you wanna use. And I'm going to just design the main app interface that would make this particular app or idea work. And I have 10 minutes. All right, so because I'm an idiot though, I forgot to turn on the correct uh, mic software so it wasn't recording. So if you see me in the corner, I'm talking there. No, I'm going to do a different voiceover. They, they will not be synced. All right, just understand that. And as always, subscribe. Before we begin, this video is sponsored by Linode. Now, as a front-end developer or a designer, you know that you need a personal portfolio. And if you use a website builder like Wix or Squarespace, they lack total customization and they lock you into using their platform. But to be a pro, you need to use the tools that the pros actually use. So level up, start building your own projects and your own portfolio on an enterprise level content management system like WordPress or Drupal. Now, real web development sometimes requires knowledge of spinning up servers, managing domain names, and setting up an occasional staging environment. And there's no better or simpler way to learn the ins and outs of hosting your website than with Linode Cloud Hosting. Linode Cloud Hosting makes it as easy as possible for you to deploy a WordPress or Drupal website in seconds with a free Linode one-click app marketplace. So click on the very top link here in the YouTube description to get your free Linode account along with $20 of free hosting and all the tools that you need to build enterprise class websites. All right, this is the online web-based random number generator. All right, so the number is 41. All right, so here's the app ideas, control F. Number 41, so the, the seasonal food finding and application. What? What type of broken English is that? The seasonal food finding and application that will tell you about the nearest places to find fresh seasonal produces, organic food items, etc. So it can have further, wait, it can further have other features for a healthy diet management. All right, uh, whoever wrote that, kind of uh, hard to read that, a little bit of messed up English. But nonetheless, it's an application, it's, it's based on location for finding I don't know, the most fresh seasonal produces. All right, so you're combining two different things and that's going to be, uh, you know, finding like vegetables, like f fresh vegetables, I guess, um, or fruit based on like an area code or something like that. So then uh, the nearest distance to you. Um, basically, I've started the countdown timer here just about 15 seconds ago. So I now have a whopping 10 minutes to come up with a user interface that will work well for this given project. All right, so I'm gonna talk just a tad bit more because this isn't the original voiceover and I'm coming up here in a second to the main app user interface. All right, so we're gonna stick with conventions here. We're gonna have an upper area where we have a nav bar with a simple logo. Produce Finder, that's what I came up with on the spot. Isn't that really unique, Produce Finder? No, not really. Um, but yeah, this is gonna be a basic logo um, word mark. I'm not gonna be designing a logo. I only have 10 minutes here for this situation. And we're just gonna scale it up a bit. I'm using this green color because that seems to make sense for something that's organic and produce related. Um, and then outside of that, we're also gonna have just a few links here. Um, a home seems to make sense. Um, I scale this down here just a tad bit. I kind of like doing that. Um, that way there's a little bit more emphasis on the logo. And so now I'm taking the home, uh, that, that link there, and just kind of giving it a darker gray sort of color. And I'm gonna replicate it here. And I was thinking, should I add services? Or I'm like, would that make sense for this type of app? Maybe I'll add a fact frequently asked questions. And then we'll have a log out because we're gonna assume the person's logged into this app using it already. And then maybe in a contact section right there. 
Now, this is a part where you're gonna see me. My audio is not linked up to my face because I'm doing this voiceover again um, because I screwed up already. And over there, I accidentally paused it. But yeah, we only have seven minutes and 55 seconds left for this to get complete. So what I'm doing here is thinking, okay, so what are we gonna put for the verbiage or the main call to action um, for this app user interface? This isn't a landing page to sell the service. This is more of just a, um, uh, an area where they get started using the app. So I'm putting enter your zip code um, in order to first identify their location. Um, I think I end up changing that. And next up, we would also maybe want to know what type of produ produce. So I think I use that as the main headline. What type of produce do you want? I don't know, vegetables, fruits, um, cake. Okay, that's not a produce. But here I'm adding a, basically, um, this is gonna be a drop down menu. So it'll be the first thing that's addressed. I think I reversed these as well, because um, the second thing will be the location. So that'll be like in the form of a zip code. After thinking about it for a while, uh, which it's tough to do this all in a matter of 10 minutes, but having thought about it after the fact, um, it would make sense to have like um, a Google Maps sort of view. Um, but basically I take this, I push it over there. And then the first one is what we answer, which is gonna be, uh, is, based on the question that's asked what type of produce do you want so i don't know let's put vegetables there and so i scale that down and then like i said in the second box we would simply put like a zip code or something like that so what type of produce do you want we want the veggies bro and then we'll go ahead i think i add a little drop down uh, triangle here six minutes left at this point. And then finally, we need a call to action. So I'm tilting my head. I'm not sure what I was doing there. Oh, and what I do is I kind of move it there and I put, yeah, near with a semicolon. All right, so we want, what, do, what type of produce do you want? Vegetables near 44483. And then we create a call to action to find the produce. Now notice I'm trying to maintain in mind the various UI design fundamentals to, to make it a nice, clean, simplistic layout five minutes left at this point so far so good and then underneath it i actually want to add like the listings like what the results will look like so we add a container for the results just to basically give it a little bit of a visual differentiator um, this is going to be just like a little like 15 results uh, for vegetables near 44483 or whatever, some zip code. And I bold up the veggies. And I do also make uh, the zip code bold and I also make the uh, veggies green using our primary color there. All right, so underneath it, what I'm thinking at this point, again, I've only had 10 minutes to look at this, and we only have three minutes, 50 seconds left, is having maybe like a thumbnail of some sort. Um, and the thumbnail, I, this is where I get unsplash out, uh, will just be a picture of like vegetables or something. <laughs> Um, and the idea is there will probably be local co-ops as they're called. I know my, my wife has gone to them or farmer's markets. That's what type of listings would realistically be on this type of uh, app or whatever. So then over here at this point, we just make it a thumbnail and then we just give it a title. So each co-op would have a title of some sort, pretty obvious. 
and then also a description that would go underneath it. And we use the Lorem Ipsum generator because I don't feel like trying to think of a relevant description. And then underneath it, I decide to put, what did I decide to put? I actually kind of forget. It's late. I'm so tired right now. Anyhow, I put uh, an address. Yeah, you know, like, where where are these people located? Where is this produce? I mean, that would make sense, right? Yeah, so it's like 4581 Hidden Trails, Warren, Ohio, 443. That's not where I live, by the way. And when it comes to little tidbits of uh, information that are listed out in like this card format, sometimes it's nice to add an icon and that way it kind of separates it visually from the rest of the content. So I use icon finder here. We type in maps and free icons only, of course. And then we're uh, gonna choose that one right there. Download that SVG, open it up and then drag it over here at this point there's only a minute and 25 seconds left and i'm starting to sweat at this point because that's not much time to finish out the rest of this ui but you know what i end up well i'm not going to tell you i'm not going to spoil it it's my daughter's annoying guinea pig over there making noise I want them out of my room, I'll be honest. So at this point, I decided, okay, there needs to be something that's like right aligned to each of these results, like um, rate them, like maybe a rating or review with them. Yeah, that's right, review. And I really wanted to put like five star rating system underneath or like, you know, a visual indicator of what their current rating is, but I only had 37 seconds left. So I repeat the grid, I group them up, here we go. And I show five, 27 seconds left. And I'm trying to pull things down, get everything situated as best as possible, get the alignment fixed up here in a second. At this point, I know there's only 10 seconds left. And I'm like, oh no, five, four, three, two, one and zero there we go so that is what i came up with and you know what i'm pretty happy with it i mean literally from being exposed to the idea to coming up with um, a pretty simplistic but something that's definitely usable like in production in terms of design at least a usable idea for the actual app all right, so I definitely suggest you guys try this out because it's pretty fun to put yourself in such a tight deadline. Then you can never, no longer basically uh, cry about tight deadlines because this is the most tight that you probably can never get. All right, everybody, hopefully you enjoyed that. I definitely invite you to take the challenge, see what you can come up with in 10 minutes and send it to, to me, mention me on Twitter. Just, uh, just yeah, just mention at designcourse.com. All right, I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye. Hey.